Hey everyone, it's Lara from the blog ArtReallyHouse.com and today I'm gonna give you guys 18 essential oil hacks. I use my oils in my house every single day. We diffuse them, we use them topically, all kinds of stuff, but there are a few tips and kind of tricks that I have compiled over the years of using essential oils. So I wanna share with you these fun essential oil hacks with you today. Before I get started, I want to tell you guys about my new essential oil masterclass that I have. Being an essential oil blogger and YouTuber, I get a ton of essential oil questions, so I compiled all the frequently asked questions and put it into this masterclass. So if you want to register for that, there is a link for that down in the description box. It's completely free, and it's just for you guys to learn more about oil. So be sure to check that out in the description box. Okay, so let's get into these hacks. The first one I have and one that we use every, not day, every time we empty our trash can in our home, we put a drop of essential oil in the bottom of the trash can. Now I know that sounds like super easy, but I had not thought of this at the very beginning of my oil time, so I thought I would pass it on to you. We do this in the kitchen and also in the bathroom. Just before we put the bag in, I put a few drops into the bottom of the trash can, and it helps to keep the trash can fresh in and smelling good until the next time you change the bag. Okay, the next hack I have, I like to call this my vacuum diffuser. It's kind of similar to the trash can. If you put a couple drops of essential oil inside of your vacuum bag, or if you don't have a bag, you can put it onto the filter. Then when you go and vacuum, that scent of essential oil goes into the air. It smells really good and it helps to also freshen the room that you're cleaning. Another way that you can do this is by putting a couple drops of essential oil on a cotton ball or a small piece of Kleenex and then just vacuum it up. It gets that into the vacuum and then it will disperse that smell as you are vacuuming your house. Okay, the third hack I have, this is for deodorizing your carpet or your rug or even upholstery. Sprinkle the area with a little bit of baking soda and then I like to add on a few drops of lavender essential oil, vacuum it up and it really helps to remove any odor and clean the carpet. Okay, the fourth hack I have, and this is really, really simple to make, is a simple room spray. I have tons of different recipes on my blog and also on the YouTube channel, so I'll link that for you here. It is simple simple as putting some witch hazel and some essential oils in a spray bottle and then shaking it and misting it into the air. So I like to keep this in the bathroom just for like a deodorizing spray. Also have one in the car to freshen when needed and just anywhere in the house. You can use this in the air or also misting it onto furniture, kind of like an all natural Febreze. Okay, the fifth essential oil hack that I have for you today is magic eraser. So I don't know if you've ever used those magic erasers. They're like white foamy things that you get wet and wiped down. It pretty much takes everything off of a wall or furniture. I used to use those before I found out that you can use lemon essential oil for basically all of those same things. So if you have marker on the wall or crayon on the wall, this is my fifth kid, so you know that I've had marker and crayon on the wall. I've tested this one lots of times. You can put lemon essential oil on there and we'll just wipe it clean. This also works really good when you're trying to clean your bathroom sinks, getting hard water off or like water scum stains, it works for that. Pretty much anything you could think of, put lemon essential oil on it, wipe it off and it's going to come off like the Magic Eraser. All right, the sixth thing I have is you can make a natural car freshener. So there's a few different ways you can do this. One way is you can get a wooden clothespin, put a couple drops of essential oils on there and then clip it onto your vent. Or if you don't want a clip hanging off of your vent, you can put a couple drops straight into your vent or you can just put it onto a Kleenex or a scarf or even onto the seats of your car just to have that essential oil smell in there and it will really make your car smell nice and it's all natural. Number seven, you can use your essential oils as a natural grease remover. Lemon essential oil is the best one for this. So if you have grease spots on any type of like clothing or if you have grease on your dishes and you're trying to do dishes, you can put a couple drops of lemon essential oil on there and wipe it off. It really helps to cut through that grease and grime. Number eight is an essential oil hack for musty laundry. So if you ever have done laundry and you kind of forgot about it in the washing machine, it sat there for a while before you got it into the dryer, you know that when you get to it, it can have that musty clothes smell to it. So a really easy hack that you can do to help this is take a piece of laundry out of that 
load maybe a sock or a towel or something like that. Put a few drops of tea tree essential oil on it and then throw it all into the dryer. Let it go through the cycle. When it comes out, they'll smell nice, fresh, and clean. Number nine, you can use your essential oils to remove any sticky sticker residue. Whenever the kids stick stickers onto the windows or mirrors or somewhere, you can put some lemon essential oil in there and it'll take all of that sticky residue off. This also works really good if you get some new furniture and there's a sticker on there that you need to remove or if you have old essential oil bottles that you want to reuse and you want to get that peely label off you can just put some lemon oil on there rub it it will get that sticky residue off really quickly number 10 you can use your essential oils for a natural spot treatment so i use essential oils to make face wash and face moisturizer but if you are not in the mood to diy you can just take some tea tree essential oil put it on to the area of concern and it will help to remove that blemish or skin imperfection now i will do this undiluted just right onto my face, but if you have sensitive skin or you want to, you can also dilute this in a carry oil first. Number 11, you can use your essential oil to freshen your hair. There's a couple different ways that you can do this. You can either make a dry shampoo that's really, really easy to do with some air root powder, put a couple drops of essential oil in there. My favorite to use is lavender for this, and then you can kind of dab it into your hair, or you can make a spray by just adding a little bit of lavender to some water, mist it into your hair, blow dry, and then style like normal just to freshen your hair. Now, of course, this isn't actually going to clean your hair, but if you are trying to stretch it out in between showers or you don't have time to shower and you just want it to freshen your hair, you can use lavender oil you could even put a couple drops onto your brush and then brush it into your hair so this is something that I do probably more often than I should admit but we'll use dry shampoo with some lavender oil in there to make my hair look cleaner and smell nicer number 12 you can use a lemongrass essential oil for an all-natural nail polish remover so if you want to remove your nail polish without all the toxins and chemicals that are found in conventional nail polish you just put a couple drops of lemongrass onto your fingernail scrub it and it will come right off. Number 13, this is another way that you can freshen your bathroom. This is called the toilet paper roll diffuser. Put a couple drops of essential oil inside the cardboard of your toilet paper roll and that will help to keep your bathroom smelling nice. Number 14, you can use your essential oils to boost energy. So my favorite oils to use for this are lemon, peppermint, and rosemary. I like to use these three because not only do they help to boost energy, but they also help you to focus and help get rid of that brain fog. So what I do is just put one drop of each of those oils in the palm of my hand, rub them together, and then cough them over my nose and breathe in. And this is a really great way to get a natural boost of energy. Number 15, you can use your essential oils to get rid of spiders and also other bugs in your home. So if you have a spider problem, you want to grab your peppermint essential oil, put a few drops of peppermint oil on a cotton ball, stick it underneath the furniture, or if you want to make a spray, you can take some peppermint essential oil in a spray bottle of water, mist it along your door frames, around your windowsills to help keep spiders out. This also works really good for repelling ants. So if you have an issue in your home with some type of bug, spider, ants, things like that, go to your peppermint essential oil for a natural way to get them out of your house. Number 16 is a DIY diffuser. If you have essential oils in your house but you don't have an essential oil diffuser yet, you can easily still get those aromatherapy benefits by making your own diffuser. So one way you can do this is simply by putting a couple drops of essential oil just onto your clothing, put some on your scarf or on the side of your sweater. You can also put a couple drops of essential oil on a tissue or you can just open up an essential oil bottle and hail straight out of there to get those aromatherapy benefits. Number 17, you can use your essential oils to freshen up your shoes. So if you have some stinky shoes, my favorite essential oils to use for this are cilantro, rosemary, lemon, tea tree, 
Those oils are really good at masking scents. So you can just put a couple drops of each of those oils into your shoe. Again, you can make a mist with some witch hazel and those oils and spray them in your shoes. This is a great way to cover up smell and make your shoes smell fresher. Okay, the 18th one and the last one here on my list, this one will especially come in helpful for any moms of little girls. So if you know about those tiny little rubber band ponytail holders that we use in our little girl's hairs, adults probably use these too, but I use them mostly in my daughter's hair. They're really hard to get out of their hair because they kind of stick to the hair and it kind of hurts a little bit. So what you can do is put a drop or two of lavender essential oil on your thumb and your pointer finger, and then just rub the ponytail tail with your finger and it will just pop right off. So that is a hack that I actually saw a fellow essential oil friend do and I tried it and was like oh my goodness I have to share this with everyone because it is definitely going to come in helpful for us. So those are 18 hacks that you can use your essential oils for. Hope this video was helpful. If you have some more essential oil hacks or things that I did not share please put them in the comments below. I'm sure all my subscribers here would love to hear from you as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful and if you're new here please hit that subscribe button I get out new videos every week where I share a lot of essential oil education lots of natural DIY hair care skin care products and cook with me videos and healthy recipes thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next video